In this session, we are going to discuss the extra embryonic membranes. What are extra embryonic membranes? Extra itself implies the additional. Membrane means a tissue. The additional tissue, that is, not the tissue of the embryo proper. The tissue that is found surrounding the embryo in the region outside the embryo. Extra embryonic membranes, they are the supportive tissue. These are the supportive and protective tissue. Located outside the region outside. Located the region outside the embryo. Outside the embryo surrounding it. That is surrounding it, surrounding the embryo within the mother's womb. That is uterus. It provides mechanical support. Provides mechanical support act as these extra embryonic membranes that are present surrounding the embryo act as Sock absorber they protect the embryo from the external pressure injury and test sock absorber perform the role in nutrition by providing the nutrition respiration excretion in the embryo of different animals nutrition that is provides the nutrients respiration Exchange of gases excretion that is the removal of removal of waste material removal of waste materials these are the functions served by the extra embryonic membrane of the embryo uh, that are present starting from the insect embryo is a found in starting from insects embryo insect embryo to the human embryo After 8 weeks of pregnancy, 8 weeks of development of the embryo, it is known as fetus. That's why the extra embryonic membranes are also known as fetal membranes. These extra embryonic membranes, 
these membranes also known as also known as fetal membrane why because after 8 weeks of development the embryo known as fetus when all the organs are developed implantation occurs 7 days after fertilization and the changes to inner cell mass and outer cell mass of the embryo occurs 8 days after fertilization so the formation of fetal membranes or extra embryonic membranes begins that is 8 days about 8 days after fertilization and it is continued throughout the third week that is simultaneously the gastrulation that is the morphogenetic movement occurs to form the three embryonic germ layers ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm as well as the germ layers required for the formation of extra embryonic membrane during the development of human embryo four extra embryonic membranes Membranes are formed as in all other amniotes, as in all other amniotes, all other amniotes means human beings are also amniotes. Then what does it mean? Amniote means the amniotes are the higher vertebrates. Amniotes are the higher vertebrates. Let us see who are the amniotes and who are anamniotes. Amniotes and amniotes. These are amniotes are the higher vertebrates who have who have amnion during their embryonic development during their embryonic development whereas anamnios are the lower vertebrates who do not have amnion during the um, their embryonic development. They include the amniotes include the reptiles, the class, the animals of class reptilia. So we can say the reptiles they include reptiles, apes means birds and mammals all mammals including human being the anamnios include the pisces or the fishes class pisces the animals are generally called fishes and 
amphibians another thing the anamnetes for the embryonic development for the reproduction process they need to go to water for reproduction because they need a aquatic medium where amniotes do not need need to go to water for reproduction four types of extra embryonic membranes are chorion amnion yolk sac and allantois is all embryonic tissue are developed from three embryonic germ layer that is ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm these uh, which germ layers are developed during the process of gastrulation during the morphogenetic movement throughout the third week of the development thus the these extra embryonic membranes are also derived developed from the three extra embryonic germ layers so first of all let us discuss the extra embryonic germ layers they develop from which part of the which part of the embryonic layer or embryonic tissue first of all let us recall the two masses of blastomeres that is found in morula first of all that is inner cell mass and outer cell mass these are the layer of cells these are the blastomeres what are these these are the blastomeres or the pluripotent stem cells which have the capacity to give rise different germ layers okay the germ layers of the embryo embryo itself and the germ layers that is of extra embryonic membranes so this the layer of blastomeres remain as blastoderm remember derm means this derm means the layer or membrane uh, and blastoderm means stem cells so remain as blastoderms that is the central blastoderm and the it is a different region that is central region of the blastoderm and the peripheral region of blastoderm the blastoderms are differentiated into central region and peripheral
the central blastoderm means the central region of the blastoderm means it consists of embryo blast embryo blast means it consists of epiblast and hypoblast we are discussing about uh, embryo blast that consists of bilaminar embryonic disc epiblast and hypoblast since the the changes occurs after implantation in inner cell mass and about the peripheral blastoderm that is nothing but the trophoblast now the epiblast epiblast develops all the three embryonic germ layer they develop embryonic germ layer They develop the embryonic germ layers. All the three embryonic germ layers that is ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm. Similarly, the how the extra embryonic germ layers are developed and from which blastoderm. the first of all let us know that trophoblast gives rise the extra embryonic extra embryonic ectoderm extra embryonic ectoderm am i clear to all of you then hypoblast gives rise extra embryonic endoderm we have discussed that hypoblast the cells the blastomeres of the hypoblast they proliferate differentiate and move into the blastocell and completely covers the blastocell when they blastomeres are differentiated into proliferated differentiated into squamous cells these squamous cells they form the primitive endoderm that is nothing but extra embryonic endoderm then the question is about the mesoderm extra embryonic mesoderm is formed out of which blastoderm which layer of the tissue from which tissue the extra embryonic mesoderm is developed just recall we have what we have studied earlier the extra embryonic endoderm that develops the primary yolk sac primary yolk sac means it is not the definitive yolk sac that is not the exact extra embryonic membrane this yolk sac this is the definitive okay so that develops the primary yolk sac primary yolk sac starts many functions essential functions in early embryonic stage in the early developmental stage of the embryo primary yolk sac they prolif the cells of the endodermal cells of the primary yolk sac they proliferate and differentiate to produce the mesenchymal cells or the extra embryonic mesodermal cells they will develop and produce extra embryonic 
मेजोडम इन ह्यूमन एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रियोनिक मेजोडम इज डेवलप्ड फ्रॉम द प्राइमरी योग सेक दैट इज रूटिमेंटरी योग सेक ओके इन ह्यूमन इन डिफरेंट मामल इट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम डिफरेंट ब्लास्टोडम इन सम मामल्स द एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रियोनिक मेजोडम इज डिराइव फ्रॉम ट्रोफोब्लास्ट इटसेल्फ and in some mammals like in mouse the extra embryonic mesodermal cells are developed derived from the caudal region of the epiblast but remember in human it is developed from primary yolk sac another thing that the extra embryonic mesoderm again is categorized into two types categorized into two types that is somatopleuric that is categorized into two types one is somato pleuric mesoderm and splanchno pleuric splanchno pleuric p l e u Planknopleuric mesoderm. Now, what is somatopleuric? Somato means body. When body or body wall means whenever you, you we are using you are using the term somato means related to body. So, the mesoderm which comes in contact with the body wall or to the peripheral tissue then it is known as somatopleuric and specifically we can say when the mesoderm remain in remain attached with the ectoderm when the mesoderm remains attached attached with the ectoderm then they are called somatopleuric pleure means p l e u r e pleure means side towards which side they are present if they are present towards the body side then outer towards the body wall then they are called somatopleuric mesoderm when the mesoderm remains in contact or remains attached attached to the endoderm then it is called splanchnopleuric Splan here splanchno means means visceral or internal so the mesoderm when mesoderm that present surrounding the visceral or internal part internal organ then it is called splanchnopleuric 